Hi, my name is Chad, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to brighten and whiten people's eyes in Photoshop. Now, this is a great technique to use with almost any portrait. Just about anything that you shoot can usually benefit from having the eyes brightened a little bit. It adds a little bit of drama and a little bit of excitement to the, to the image. So here we have an image where uh, I've already retouched it some. It has a fairly dramatic lighting to it. And you'll notice that this eye is uh, fairly well shaded and even this eye uh, really looks like it could just use a little bit of brightening to pop it out of the image a little bit more. And so that's what we're going to do. It's a pretty simple technique. It shouldn't take too long. First things first, let's zoom in on the eye that we're going to work on. And I'm going to see if we can handle 300% here. There we go. That's perfect. I find that if you zoom in multiples of, of 100 or even increments, um, it looks better on your screen and it's easier to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire eye in a quick mask. So I turn on my quick mask, I enter my quick mask mode, and I grab my uh, standard paintbrush, and I've got it set to black with opacity at 100%. And I'm using a tablet, so I turn on my shape dynamics so that as I press harder, uh, it creates a wider brush stroke. Now, if you don't have a tablet, that's perfectly fine. You can use your mouse. It'll work just as well. Uh, it's just a little harder to control with a mouse as opposed to a tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in the whole eye. I went over a few eyelashes, but it wasn't enough that you were going to notice it. Uh, sometimes I take the effort and try to paint around them, but I end up blurring it anyways, and it, I'm not sure that it's worth the effort. So I paint in the entire eye with 100% uh, with selection. Now I'm going to come back and blur it a little bit. I'm going to blur this area up here where the uh, where the eyelashes are. I'm going to blur a little bit down here even though it's a pretty sharp line. In here I like to blur quite a bit. It seems to be hard to tell where the eyeball kind of starts and stops in there. So I give it a nice heavy blur. I'm going to leave quick mask mode and now I have the whole eye selected. But I actually have it masked, don't I? Because I had it in quick mask mode. So really everything but the eye is selected. So I have to go to select inverse and now it's the eye that's selected. I'm going to make, since we're going to brighten it, I'm going to make a, uh, uh, an adjustment layer of brightness contrast. I don't think there's any reason to use anything more complicated than brightness contrast because all we really want to do is get it, get it to be brighter right now. And I'm going to crank it up pretty good. Uh, this eye seems kind of shaded to me, so I'm going to turn it up pretty high. When you have a, an evenly lit face, I find that 20 is probably uh, around, around what you're going to use. But when your eyes are, uh, when you have deep eyes or when you have dramatic lighting, sometimes you have to crank it up pretty high. Now what I notice as soon as we do that is that there's a lot of color in uh, this side of his eye in particular. A little bit of pinkishness in this side, but a lot of color in here. And that's not really going to look good in the final print. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that as well. We're going to do it in a very similar way. We're going to go back into the quick mask. We're going to grab the paintbrush and we're just going to paint in that area. Masking off the iris. So this time we're not doing the whole eye. We're just doing the whites. I'm going to grab this white too. Just because there's no reason not to. We don't, we don't want to end up with something that looks unbalanced just because we wanted to take the time to skip half of the mask. So paint that in. Now I'm going to go back and blur it a little bit. I'm going to do these, this side and this side about like what we did before, and this gets blurred quite a bit like it did before. This side here needs blur blurred really heavily. It just makes it look a lot better. It makes it blend in with the iris better. So you don't have to blur this that much or this that much, but these inside ones we want to get a pretty heavy blur on. I'm going to leave quick mask mode. 
and I'm going to select the inverse again so that we have these selected. And this time it, it's another pretty simple adjustment. We're just going to use a hue saturation layer. There's a lot of people who are doing things like blurring the, uh, the whites of the eyes and whitening them by painting on layers, color layers and things like that. I think that if you use a hue saturation layer you end up with a really nice product because you don't lose the detail and the shape of the eye like you do with some other techniques. Um, I'm actually going to adjust the lightness a little bit too because it's so shaded in there. I'm not going to do it much, just maybe plus three. Looks good to me. Now I can see a little bit of color creeping in around here still. Depending on, on the video you might not be able to see it, but I'm going to go back in and uh, work on this mask a little bit. So now that I've got the mask highlighted, I can just go ahead with my white and my paintbrush. I'm going to make my, my uh, brush a little smaller and I'm going to go back in and, and just touch that up a little bit so there's a little, little bit more of a more of a mask there. So we get some more of those pixels. Make sure that they're not coming out pink. Okay? So I'm going to make a group for that. Call it eyes too. You'll notice I already had uh, had the eyes done um, before and I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to zoom back out and I can turn that on and off. And you can see what a dramatic effect that makes. Let me maybe go to 50% so that all we see is his face. Let's see what a dramatic effect that makes. Now, you have to go in and do the other eye and then balance them a little bit. It's really easy to get one eye out of balance with the other, so I always do them separate. Uh, this eye in here will probably require a little more of a boost than this eye uh, for them to look naturally balanced because it's so shaded. You don't want to try to make them look the same value, but you want them to look balanced. So I'm going to turn off the one that we just did and do the ones that I've already balanced out. So now each of the eyes has the exact same thing done to it. We can open up the, uh, the set and you see that I have a hue saturation and a brightness contrast for each one of the eyes. And so we can flick that on and off and see what a dramatic effect that makes on the, uh, on the emotional quality of that portrait. It really makes a difference. So hopefully this is a technique that you can put to use yourself. You can uh, check out the before and after photos on my blog. It's cmhimaging.com, uh, and there's a link to the blog down at the bottom of the page. And uh, just play around with it and see, uh, see what you can get. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.